prophet's words I'll stand on solid ground Even though it's still hard With questions that arise every day I will say I'll have faith like brother Joseph And the strength of the pioneers I'll be brave as a stripling warrior Spread the gospel wide throughout all the earth. With Jesus as our guide, we'll wield the sword of truth. Even though it's still hard, with questions that arise every day, I will say, Brothers and sisters, we welcome you to our Women's Hear Him devotional, July 26 of 2020. Presiding this devotional is Bishop Chiquito Hugo, and at the same time conducting. Our opening hymn will be on hymn number 5, High on the Mountain Top, and our opening prayer will be offered to us by Sister Leadil Ingalls, our Young Women President. After the opening prayer, we will be hearing uh, two speakers. First to speak is Sister Mary Chris Camarillo, our youth Sunday school teacher, to be followed by Sister Christine Preciosa, our first counselor in the primary organization. After their talks, we shall hear from Brother Elisar Pangi Jr., our assigned high councilman as our concluding speaker. After Brother Pangi's talk, our closing hymn will be on hymn number 239, Choose the Right. And our closing prayer will be offered to us by Sister J. Vigal Saldivar.
among amahan sa langit, salamat sa higayon nga inagyatag ka na mo sa pag um, paminaw na sa sa mo ang every Sunday nga hear him devotional. Salamat amahan sa giya sa mo na sa tag sa kapamilya nga hantod ka ron among na enjoy. Salamat sa pagpatag na mo sa um, mga dili maayo ang mga paghitabo especially sa karon nga sitwasyon sa ang kalibutan pero amahan na ngayon kami nga sa amo ang pagpadayon sa amo ang um, devotional ang balak spirito magkagiya ka na mo o mag um, dwell sa amo ang sasatag sa kakasing-kasing nga ma sabta na mo o ma feel na mo ang mga messages nga ipanghatay sa mga speakers ka na ngayon kami amahan nga padayon ang imuhang pagsuporta sa mo ah, pagprotect o pag save sa mo tagsatag sa ka-family o kaya tampa ngayon sa kalang sa imuhang anak kasi so Kristo amen Mayong hapon, brothers and sisters. Malipayon ko karon sa higayon na isa ko sa speaker para sa tuang Hear Him Devotional. Ang topic na ako ang i-share is the law of tithing. The tithe is God's law for His children. Yet, the payment is entirely voluntary. Our obedience is voluntary, but our refusal to pay does not abrogate. Means, To fail to do is required by something such as a responsibility. The Lord has established the law of tithing. And because it is His law, it becomes our obligation to observe it if we love Him and have a desire to keep His commandments and receive His blessings. In this way, it becomes a debt. The man who doesn't pay his tithing because he is in debt should ask himself if he is not also in debt to the Lord. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. It takes work and thought and effort. If one thoughtfully observes the proselyting done by the missionaries, the teaching program of the church, the great educational systems, and the building program to erect houses of worship, there will come a realization that it is not a burden to pay tithing, but a great privilege. The blessings of the gospel are, are shared with many through our tithes. Pay an honest tithing, the eternal law revealed by the Lord and practiced by the faithful from the ancient prophets down to present, teaching us to put the Lord's first in our lives. We may not be asked to sacrifice our homes or our lives, as was the case with the early saints. We are challenged today to overcome our selfishness. We pay tithing because we love the Lord, not because we have the means to do so. We can expect that the Lord will open the windows of heaven and shower down blessings upon the faithful. We follow the principle of returning to the Lord a portion of His goodness to us. The payment of tithing strengthens faith, increases spirituality and spiritual capacity, and solidifies testimony. I want to describe two important lessons I have learned about the law of tithing. The first lesson focuses upon the blessings that come to individuals and families as they faithfully obey these commandments. The second lesson emphasizes the importance of tithing 
in the growth of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in all of the world. I pray the Holy Ghost will confirm to each of us the truthfulness of the Gospels I discuss. The honest payment of tithing is much more than a duty. It is an important step in the process of personal sanctification. To those who pay your tithing, I commend you. To those of you who presently are not obeying the law of tithing, I invite you to consider your ways and repent. I testify that by your obedience to this law of the Lord, the windows of heaven will open to you. Please do not procrastinate the day of your repentance. I testify spiritual and temporal blessings come into our lives as we live the law of faith. In the sacred name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I hope that we are all doing fine in this pandemic. I am grateful for the bishopric for giving me this opportunity to be one of the speakers this Hear Him devotional. The topic that I chose to share this afternoon is about small and simple things and how it affects our spiritual and temporal lives. Let me start by sharing a story about two cats who went to travel to Cat Mountain. Cat Mountain is the best place for cats to have fun. All the cats know how to get there by just following the signs. When the sign says to go left, you go left. And when it says to go right, you go right. However, there was a problem when these two friends went traveling. One tiny little nail broke on one of the signs, and it made the arrow point left instead of right. This is just a little thing, and it is easy to fix. But this little thing caused some big problems. When these two friends got to the sign, they followed what the sign said. Soon, they realized that the way was getting bumpy and steep, and soon they were on top of a cold mountain. The other cat asked his friend if they were on the right way. However, since it was the way the sign said, they kept on moving until such time that they were lost and never reached Cat Mountain. All these problems happened because of one small nail. If that nail had lasted a little longer, they could have made it to Cat Mountain. But since it broke, they were far away. Now the lesson that we can get from this, brothers and sisters, is that one small and simple thing matters. In the scriptures, we learn about little things that we can do that can bring us closer to Heavenly Father. In this time of pandemic, where we are contained in our homes, what small and simple things can we do that can bring us closer to Heavenly Father? Reading and studying our scriptures is a little thing, and saying our prayers every day is a little thing, and obeying the commandments when we have a choice to make is a little thing. But all these small and simple things can make a big difference. And if we ignore the little things, that can have big consequences. Though each of these practices may seem to be small and simple, over time, they result in a powerful spiritual uplift and growth. This occurs because each of these small and simple things invites the companionship of the Holy Ghost, who enlightens us and guides us into truth as President Ehring has explained, as what Amma has taught his son Hillaman, Now you may suppose that this is foolishness in me. But behold, I say unto you, that by small and simple things are great things brought to pass. And the Lord God doth work by means to bring about his great and eternal purposes, and by very small means, the Lord bringing about the salvation of many souls. And I believe it's true that by consistently doing those small and simple things, great things happen. They are important. 
But the same principle is true on the opposite end of the spectrum. But small and simple things are terrible things brought to pass as well. President Russell M. Ballard described to a general conference audience how small and simple things can be negative and destructive to a person's salvation. He taught, like weak fibers that form a yarn, then a strand, and finally a rope, these small things combined together can become too strong to be broken. We must ever be aware of the power that the small and simple things can have in building spirituality. At the same time, we must be aware that Satan will use small and simple things to lead us into despair and misery. As the pandemic goes on, and with a vaccine that is yet to be discovered, we are all inside our homes, surrounded by media influences and cultural deteriorations that will carry us downstream in our values, if we are not continually resisting. I am happy to see the leaders who are continually making activities for the youth despite the pandemic, for making inspiring efforts to reach out to them like virtual seminaries. Also, for those leaders who visit those members who are unfortunate in these times. I am happy that each organization in the ward is reaching out to members, creating activities that foster spiritual growth, love, charity, and family bonding, especially in the primary. Small and simple is not a synonym for insignificant. This is one of the lies Satan whispers softly into our ears. We're all familiar with the lies associated with the positive, small, and simple things. For example, Uy, okay na nga, hindi ta scripture, so okay na nga, hindi ta pray karong nabitaw. And that's the usual temptations that we get, especially now. Or like, like when the government tells us to wear our masks every time we go out and maintain social distancing, diba? So simple, but not everybody is doing it. Yes, we are taught by simple things, but as Nephi explained, because of simpleness of the way or the easiness of it, there were many who perished. If we listen and obey brothers and sisters, especially in, the, in these times, maybe we can help avoid the increasing rate of the victims of the virus, diva. Right? I leave with you my testimony that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. I believe that the scriptures is true and we really need them in our lives, especially now that we are not sure of what is going to happen to us. I believe that we have a living prophet, Russell M. Nelson, who loves us and cares for us and leads the church. I believe that consistent and simple outpourings of love can create beautiful, happy families. We all need the love we can get, especially now that we are anxious towards our environment. I believe that we can be productive in this pandemic by learning and practicing righteous habits that can create immense spiritual strength. Allowing ourselves to fall into laziness can eliminate the spirit from our lives. I also believe that uplifting media can inspire and open doors to revelation. In appropriate media, even if small and simple, can dull and infect our spirit. I believe we all desire to follow President Russell M. Nelson's challenge to press forward on the covenant path. Our commitment to do so is strengthened by consistently following the small and simple things we are taught by the gospel of Jesus Christ and the leaders of his church. I hope and pray that we may help each other in this time of pandemic. May we be all safe, brothers and sisters. And all these things, I live with you in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ.
Brothers and sisters, uh, good morning sa tanang Tagalapulapu first. So, I am overwhelmed sa gi hatag nga higayon ako ni Bishop Ching nga motok kaninyo regarding uh, kaninyo ani nga Sunday, fourth Sunday of the month of July. Uh, wag ko mag-expect nga at uh, uh, tawagan ko ni Bishop para uh, mga ayo siya uh, tabang regarding sa concluding talk. Hindi pa isag ko in the other hand kay mahatagan sa kong chance kay dugay-dugay ni Bay Gip niya ko katok uh, sa aming awanta. So, brothers and sisters, ang gihatag nga topic ni Bishop sa ako akarong muntaga is about obedience, no? Now, obedience is a principle or one of the law of our Heavenly Father para masaksid ang usaka uh, iyang anak din sa kalibutan. Now, it is an eternal law, I believe. So, brothers and sisters, why is it that obedience is very important para sa ato ang uh, itawag itong salvation? Kay siya importante ako nakita again, para sa atong kalawasan. So, mga nang pangutan na, anong, anong tinahanglan yun nga maubay ita? No. Doon ay naghang mga rason sa dinis sa kalibutan, brothers and sisters, nga anong tinahanglan tang maubay? Uban, ang ilang uh, nakita ako nga rason, uban, gay. Because they obey what is uh, kanang mayo kay ang ilang rason kay kino, kini kuno mga butanga gitudlo sa ilang mga parents while gagmay pa sila so mao na nga ilang rason mao na nga mo sunod mi sa sugo sa ginoo kay mao may gitudlo sa among mga girikanan and secondly, una sa iuban nga kita na ko nga ang ilang rason, musunod sila sa kasuguan sa ginoo. Kaya nahadlock sila sa silot. No? Punishment. It, dili sila gusto nga mapanish. Muna nga maubihin na lang sila. Kaya naibaw mo sila nga ang ginoo. Ah, uh, he declared them again sa scriptures through his mga prophets and apostles nga there are punishments uh, those who are rebel against rebellious nga mga tao sa so, Ginoo so na po rasons uban nga mo sunod sila kay kibaw man sila nga kung ubuhat sila og maayo do na may reward ang ihatag ang ginoo. In which, atong terms, mga latter day sins, is blessing. Do na gracia ay ihatag ang ginoo kung masunurin ta nga klase sa pagka-disciple sa iyang mga kusuguan. So, muna ilang, ilang rason, ilang giapas, kay aron ma-bless ang ilang kinabuhi. Napuyuban na Musunod sa muobe, muobe kay ang ilang hadlok sila sa ginoo. Mulang rason. Mahadlok mo sa ginoo. Oy. Muna nga musunod lang di ko siyang subo kay disunod ba kayo ginoo na gano'n na ang, nag, ang nagsulti nga mauna itong buhat ito. So, musunod ta. Oy. Mahadlok. Mahadlok ta. So mauna yung mga rason brothers and sisters nga ako nakita. But as ano yung tanan akong gisulting ang mga rason? 
is, is it the right? Is it the right reason nga mo na atong uh, mo na kay gibuhat na to kay mao na kay nahadlok ta kay tungod kay gitudlo man ni sa akong parents mao may ako nadakan uh, sunod na lang po ko yeah. sunod hindi ko gusto nga masilutan ko sa gino okay I believe in God nga na, mga na sila banya hindi ko gusto nga mag rebellious ko sa gino mapanisan ko kay kay kapait gyud tawon tibaw nang tang ginuo mo mo panis isa do mangayo now dapoy uban nga mo ingon lagi nga grasya ang ilang giapas mo nang musunod sila sa sugo sa ginuo but brothers and sisters usara gyud as a latter day saints usara gyud ang tiunay nga rason nga in which mismo ang ginoo nag-ingon siya si Jesus Christ unsa nga unsa nang rason brothers and sisters nag-ingon siya nga kanang gumo na kay para nato mga latter day saints nga if ye love me keep my commandments so the key word is because We obey because we love our God. We love God and His Son, Jesus Christ. No? Di ba? So, ang dako ang arason nga nung musunod ta sa sugo tungod kay nahigugma ta sa ginoo. Now, naingon si President Otsdorp, ha? nga love is the measure of our faith sukdana na siya sa atong pagtuo sa Ginoo unsa ka taas ug unsa ka mabaw ang imong pagtuo the inspiration of our obedience and the true altitude of our discipleship. So, klaro, brothers and sisters, ha? it is murag barometro, sukdanan, sa atong gugma, sa atong faith, you know, ka na atong gugma, when we obey His commandments. Padayon siya. When we truly understand what it means to love As Jesus Christ loves us, the confusion clears and our priorities, pri- priorities align. Our walk as disciples of Christ becomes more joyful. Our lives take on new meaning. Our relationship with our Father in Heaven becomes more profound obedience becomes a joy rather than a burden oh claro brothers and sisters ha din sa katapusan obedience becomes a joy rather than a burden nga man kay ang uban tao ha some people feel that commandments are burdens limit their freedom So, mo na, no? Nga, mo ako yung pagtuo sa uban nga. Mo mo kung what are kagawasan na ni isa. Pag kung ano, ipili, ugasa ako. Nga, munta. Dapat na may free agency. Huwag pinig mga commandments nga gihatag nga uban, bugat kayo. Sama sa law of tithing. Pagkaliso naman ginana, ay kabugat naman ano eh. Nga mga commandments. So, mga nana nga mga butang ba nga? Kanang sa law of chastity, sa world of wisdom. So, suban, malip, magtanaw ko. So, hindi tagad, inom-inom sila, libre kay sila. Kita, bawal. So, the severe thought na ingon siya, ha? Nga kanayin mong ingon nga freedom. 
that true freedom comes only from following him. Si mismo gid ang nagsulti ana si sa John chapter 8 verse 31 32. God give us commandments for our benefit para sa atong kaayuhan na. Eh mura mo kun tagwan ani brothers sisters kana mura tag mga karnero ba. Nga si Jesus Christ ang atong uh, shepherd no siya ang nag 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 uh, amuma na to nya gikural ta na anak brothers and sisters murag giko di ba mga karnero mga kanding kuralon mana so it's like nga ang kural it's a sign nga mas safe mas safe ang mga karnero so it's just like na nga for our benefits na sa atong gayuhan mao na nga di igwarjahan ta anang commandment gikuralan ta og commandment mga kasubuan kay para na sa atong kaayuhan kay kung makabuhi ta diha sa kural gani makagawas gali sa gani ro nya magwander na siya asa kay nagka tanaw siya nga mas green dito mga kasagbotan mas nindot ito nya not knowing layo na kay siya nawala na siya sa fold so aron ma ma Gwardiyahan ta. So, naan ang commandment. Kihatas gino. Commandments, they are loving instructions for our happiness and for our physical and spiritual being. So, dili na ingon nga gikuan sa tao sa atong gagwasan. Ang true happiness is by following the commandments of our God. So, we already know why we obey. Why we must obey? Because it is our expression of our love to build the Father and Jesus Christ. In John 14:15, Malikon ako. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So daghan pa tayo ganahan nga isulti brothers and sisters para sa etua. Pero ah, limitado man tong oras mo hatag dalan ko nimo ninyo sa akong uh, testimony no nga tibaw ko nga nga ang atong ginoo is a loving god dili 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 tanip sagdan sa sitwasyon nato karon ni pandemic tibaw man ginoo ani eh. kay di prophesy daman sa nidaan sa sa mga propeta mga apostoles sa unang panahon pa. At sila mismo galing ng otana ni Jesus Cristo kung sa mga signs uh, sa iyang pagbalik, gitagas nila niya. Usan eh sa mga gihisgutan ni Jesus Cristo kining mga sickness, mga pandemics, no? So, dili na tayo ngay mabalaka ni brothers and sisters. Ang ato lang, we must put our trust in God. Obey sa iyang mga kasuguan in spite of difficulties and sorrows in life. Di ba ko na mahimu, brothers and sisters, nga maubi lang ta, ay tungod kay komportable ta, mayo atong sitwasyon sa kinabuhi. Dili na siya. Mura na siya sa kaminyoan ba nga sa ka, kalisod o kaharuhay, mag-uban, mag-uban mong duha. So, inanal sa dia. Sa kalisod o sa mga gulanan, mga problema, Kinhanlan, we, mo, we must put our trust in the Lord. I know, brothers and sisters, nga we are in the true church. We are led by the living prophet of today. He is a loving God. Jesus Christ is our Savior and our Redeemer. With Satan's situation, Ron, Baho ko nga lisod, nga usahay, mo ma ma mas mas mo rebel ang atong pagkanatural nga tao nga mahadlok magkuol sa atong sitwasyon labi na nga wala na gitay makao na hapit matayno nga ang ino dili magpasagad sa iyang mga tao labi na katong nagasunod gyud siya ang kasubuan 
Dili tali ako sagdan, brothers and sisters. Mark my word. Bawo man siya, kanusa tama, expiring kalabutan na. Siya rin ibaw. Ang ato lang is to obey what is been commanded. Because I know kaya naataan na ang mga kinaiya, yung mga taras. So, if we have that faith, which is greater, all is well. Remember, His promise is sure and true. Because if He will not fulfill His promise, God will cease to be God. Kung dili na siya may tapo, brothers and sisters. And I leave this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ang upansad kay nice ay makatunan. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.